Forest of Piano. This anime follows a young elementary school age boy named Kai who doesn't have many friends and is constantly bullied because he lives in the red light district and his mom is a prostitute. And one day a new boy arrives to his school named Kohei and he wants to be a professional piano player like his dad. And this makes Kai extremely happy because he secretly loves the piano and loves playing it. So Kai and Kohei become friends and Kai takes Kohei to this forest where there's this old abandoned piano that everyone thinks is cursed and haunted and no one can play. But Kai, for whatever reason, is able to play it and play it extremely well. Because it turns out that Kai is a piano prodigy. He's just a natural born piano player. Uh, he hears a song and he can instantly pretty much copy it perfectly. And he's this great piano player. And we follow Kai's journey pretty much through his life as he gets accepted by Ajino, uh, this former piano expert player who had to give up his career being a piano player after an accident damaged his hand and killed his fiance, who just happens to be Kai's music teacher. And he eventually takes him in and starts teaching him piano. And we follow Kai's journey as he grows up becoming a, a better piano player and how he influences all the people around him including the different uh, piano players who want to become experts who he influences or changes in many ways and the show is pretty much that just following Kai in his life and it's all about playing the piano in music and beautifully and I enjoyed this anime it was a good interesting story uh, it did have some flaws which I'll get into but overall it was it was a nice anime. Um, if you just want to watch this and relax, there's plenty of piano playing and just great classical music and it's very soothing. At least it was for me just hearing that, like I can still hear the music in my head right now. It was just beautifully played music, a uh, fairly interesting story. There's a lot of characters who have interesting backgrounds. Unfortunately, um, this show or anime is only 12 episodes long well it's gonna be two seasons but this first season is only 12 episodes long so it's kind of crammed full and we don't get a lot to, or to get to explore a lot of depth into these characters like kai's story is very interesting and i feel like we barely scratched the surface of it because this is one of those animes that's based off a of manga which i'm sure just covers all this stuff in interesting stories which i might check out reading later but this anime barely scratches the surface. Like I said, Kai's mom is a prostitute in the red light district. So he grew up in this really harsh environment where no one accepted him and no one really liked him because they just thought he was trash. Uh, and it turns out he's just this great piano player. You know, he has this great spirit in him, uh, which allows him to be this optimistic, happy person. And he just kind of goes through this journey of learning to play the piano, struggling to make it you know because he doesn't have advantages like a lot of these other people like Shuho uh, Shuho uh, Shuhei <laughs> um, his dad is a professional piano player he comes from a good home so he's already uh, been playing a long time before he even meets Kai and he has prof professional teachers he's able to go overseas and learn and all kinds of different things which kind of give him an advantage Kai is a natural born player but he's never been taught in the beginning of the show he can't read piano music um, he has a hard time playing regular pianos because the forest piano you have to hit it real hard I think and that's the reason why he can play it because he's so used to hitting it hard which other piano players play nice smoothly and he's just not capable of doing that so he has to learn to do that so this very interesting story for him that like I said we barely scratched the surface of uh, the last three episodes introduce a lot of new characters because it this season ends at this big piano uh, recital tournament thing. I, I don't know what's called competition, I guess. Yes, piano competition, and we meet a lot of new interesting characters. But it's it kind of feels rushed. We don't really get to spend time with them. We're just kind of quickly introduced into them, and you know we get their backstories, which most of them are pretty interesting. But it's not really in depth. It's just kind of given to us, which is kind of unfortunate. Like I said, it's a it's a manga that ran for, I think, six, seven years, maybe even longer. 
So there's a lot of story there, which you can't just cover in 12 episodes, because you have to focus on the main character. And they do spend a lot of time talking about the music, which unfortunately, I don't really understand. There's some parts where they're just like, oh, he missed a note or something, but it sounds perfectly fine to me, and I'm just like, uh, it sounds great to me, but if you guys say so, and... They talk about music in ways that I'm not capable of understanding or talking about. So uh, that's a little bit drawback for me. I appreciate the music <laughs> for what it is. It's beautiful and amazing. But the way they talk about music is something that I, I just cannot understand. Uh, it's above my understanding level. But overall, this show or anime is just fantastic. I did enjoy it. Um, I can't wait to watch the second season. It comes out in 2019 in Japan. Uh, so I don't know when it's going to hit Netflix because this is on Netflix currently. Um, I have to give this anime a 7 out of 10. Uh, I, I did enjoy it. Um, I kind of wish they focused a little bit more on the character stories because there's a lot of interesting stuff that can just pull at your heartstrings, which I think the anime or the manga probably does. There's probably a bunch of moments where you just you tear up and there wasn't any overly sad moments. There were sad moments, then, but... Uh, they kind of just felt rushed through, so they didn't really get to me, which was kind of unfortunate. But overall, like I said, the animation looks good. Uh, besides them uh, switching to the CG cell shaded style when they're playing the piano, uh, especially in close-ups, I don't know if it's easier for them to animate the hands that way or what, but it, you notice it. It's it's not bad. It, it's good, decent cell shaded CG, but you notice it. <laughs> uh, the music amazing uh the story is fairly interesting like i said i kind of wish we got a little bit more to the characters stories like uh kai has a love interest which is she's only in two episodes which i wish we knew a little bit more about or, or saw a little more of her uh overall great anime you know it's there's nothing really overly bad with it it's just i just kind of wish it was uh more fleshed out that's i guess my main issue with it which is barely an issue it's still good it's still serviceable you still understand the story, the story. You still appreciate the music and everything, which I think that's what they were trying to do: get people to appreciate the music through uh, the medium of animation or anime. So they did that. So if you watched this anime, what did you think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Um, did you like this kind of anime? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.